Move over, Bigfoot. There's a new foot in town. His name may be Littlefoot, but the questions surrounding his skeleton are anything but little. Hey everyone, it's Natalia here, guest hosting for D News. Understanding human origins has been a preoccupation with humans since, well, we originated. And since the discovery 41 years ago in East Africa of a 3.2 million year old female hominid named Lucy, aka Australopithecus afarensis, paleoanthropologists have discovered several new hominid species. A hominid is one of our upright walking ancestors. One such possible new species includes specimen STW573, or Littlefoot. Littlefoot was first discovered in the early 1990s in a concrete-like material called breccia in South Africa's Sterkfontein Caves. Sterkfontein has also yielded several specimens of Australopithecus africanus, a species of hominid that lived two to three million years ago. Therefore, there was question whether Littlefoot was simply another A. africanus or perhaps a new species altogether. Researchers have spent over 20, yes, 20, 20 years excavating Littlefoot. During this time, they tried to determine his age and species. Fortunately, his head is well preserved and exhibits traits that differ from A. africanus, such as larger cheek teeth, a longer, flatter face, and a slight sagittal crest or a bony ridge along the top of his head. And, as you may have guessed, little feet. Scientists have also worked hard to determine the age of Littlefoot and even employed a new technique to estimate how long Littlefoot's little feet walk the earth. According to researchers, Littlefoot died 3.7 million years ago, making him a lot older than other A. africanus individuals and a contemporary of Lucy's species, A. afarensis, which lived from 3.9 to 2.9 million years ago. Hence, Littlefoot has been dubbed a new species, Australopithecus prometheus. According to researchers, this development would imply that there could be a link between Australopithecines in East and South Africa, which is incredibly exciting. However, despite researcher assertions that Littlefoot is a new species that lived 3.7 million years ago, there are those that disagree. Hey, it's not science unless there's a debate. There are scientists that argue Littlefoot is younger than 3.7 million years old. And there is a question if A. Prometheus is a new species or just another A. africanus individual that falls within the range of variability within that species. When it comes to human evolution, there are two camps, lumpers and splitters. Lumpers are conservative about dividing species into multiple taxa, whereas splitters are liberal with their degree of speciation. Since its discovery, Homo ergaster had been considered its own species, but now is commonly lumped in with Homo erectus rather than split into two separate taxa. Or they refer to Homo ergaster as a subspecies of Homo erectus. And if you think about it, the morphology or anatomical structure of an organism can greatly vary within a species. I mean, look at our own species. We come in all shapes and sizes. Or even better yet, dog breeds. It's hard to believe a chihuahua and an English bulldog are the same species, but they are. Like many paleoanthropological discoveries, drawing the line between species is complicated, since researchers rarely have multiple fully intact pristine skeletons to work with. Funny enough, Littlefoot's new name is from Greek mythology. Prometheus was the titan who stole fire from the gods and delivered it to humankind. Perhaps Littlefoot will live up to his new name by igniting some heated yet inspired debates about the origins of humankind. So, ladies and gents, I have a feeling there's going to be more news about our pal Littlefoot. Paleoanthropologists surely will continue discussing his age or whether or not he's in a new species. And this is a perfect example that science is not static. It's constantly evolving as new information is discovered. So what do you think? Is Littlefoot a new species or not? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more D-News every day of the week.